And I know, yes, I know, I will see him in that sweet, oh, peaceful rain. There's a little bit of Sister Rosetta Tharp's My Journey to the Sky. It's actually composed by Dorothy Austin and Virginia Davis. But we know it through Sister Rosetta's recording, and you can read all about it in the link below. Welcome, everybody. Joe Banjo here coming back at you to give you another piece of the banjo interpretation of Sister Rosetta Tharp's My Journey to the Sky for the Rhapsody Project's Song of the Month program. Let's get into it. So you've got your C major chord. We were doing it here before, and we can keep doing that. You can use all the shapes that I shared in the previous video about the intro to play these chords I'm about to show you. I'm gonna give you some options here, okay? So, starts off on what we're gonna call the um, A section. There's only one thing. Then you change from C to E major. And that is a very simple shift. You just move from this note to that note. There's only one thing, shift, that I long for. When I reach, there's your F shape, that winsome lane. And that was just a little C, F, C, okay? So we've got one bar of C, and we're, I'm, just doing, I'm just doing down strums on this. And the feel is kind of boom, bop, boom, da, if you want to give it a little more flavor. But there's only one thing that I long for. When I reach that heavenly land. Okay, so that's our first four bars. That's C for a bar, E7, or E for a bar. If I want to make it E7, I can take this off. Give it a little more tension. Go up to the F major. And again, if you need that chord broken down, you can look at the previous video about the intro. I show you that shape. Then you go back to the C. Quick F just for one beat back to C to finish out the first four bars. Now, you repeat that to see my Jesus for the first half and his glory as I go. That's D, or you could play it as D7. Okay? So if you want to do fancy D7, you slap your pinky up on the fourth fret. Give it a little more tension, and that, that high note resolves to your G chord. Okay, so that's the second four bar phrase. Now, that's kind of the end of what I'm gonna call the whole intro section. Now we get into the part that repeats of the song, okay? So, <clears throat> starts, starts again the same way. There's only one thing that I long for when I read that heavenly land to see my Jesus and his glory as I go from land to land is only one thing that I long for that's an E when I read that heavenly land. Okay, that should all be familiar to you by now. Now it gets to the really beautiful part. And I know, yes I know, I will see him in that sweet, peaceful rest. Yeah. Okay, so that ends on the C7. So that section, two, two beats of his C major. And I know, then you go to D minor. So that's a D, just like we played before. The simplest way would be there, or D major, but we're gonna lower this, this, this note that makes it major, the F sharp, lower it to F natural, okay? And to give myself a little more control, I'll often play the F natural there, and I'll play it here. So then I'll cluster these two fingers and it'll be F, A, 
D, F, and those frets are three, two, three, three. We learned that shape for the intro, okay? Then you go back to C, F, you know all this. See him in that sweet, oh my lord. That's, I'm playing just G with the open string. Open strings, you can also play it like this with the good old trusty F shape. Then back to C. C, F, C7. Okay, so C7 is just a C chord, but you add your pinky on the B flat. So we have two, three, one, two, as in terms of what fret you're playing, okay? Second fret C string, second fret low D string, sorry. Third fret G string, first fret B string, second fret high D string. Okay, and then if you just look at the chart that I'm gonna share, you can see how to play the B section without a mother, F, for a measure, back without a father, C, F, C, that nice little A, Amen cadence. We got to reach, we just stay on the C. This journey for ourselves. You see seven, it started over again. Heartbreak and pain, break and pain, all left in chain, same thing. Now we go to D major. But our journey rest on the G, maybe make it G7. Go back to C chord. And now we're back to running through the beginning again. So there is all of the chords for the sections, how to play them on the banjo. Check out the third video if you want some more tricksy Dixie stuff that gives you a little more flavor you can throw in this thing and some other shapes you can use. Thank you so much for checking out our video. This is the Rhapsody Project's Song of the Month program, and I really appreciate it if you would consider liking and subscribing. Check us out at the Rhapsody Project on most social media platforms, and we will see you next time. Thanks, everybody.